Hi everybody. You were asking me to do something about play of the hand. So um, I think I told y'all before, um, I helped create a group called Atlanta Junior Bridge way back when in 2006 and we taught or have been teaching and are still teaching bridge to kids here in Atlanta at no charge. Um, so one of the things that we did was created a bunch of teaching posters and this is one of them. Some hints for declarer. And you asked me to talk about play. So I thought this would be a good way to do it. We'll take each of these topics and come up with something. Okay? So this one actually encompasses a couple of things. Com encomp encompasses finessing. Um leading towards the high card and entries. So let's look at this hand and see what we think. Suppose you are in three no trump, got to back up. The bottom hand is declarer, down here. The top hand is dummy. So I'll let you look at it in a minute. And let's say that the opening lead was the queen of clubs, okay? So if you count this tricks, you have one spade trick for sure. No heart tricks yet. You don't know about hearts. You have four diamond tricks because you have between your two hands, the ace, the king, the queen, the jack, and the four. And you have two club tricks because you have the ace and the king. So that's four, five, six, four diamonds, two clubs is six, spade is seven. We know we can create another spade trick by finessing for the king of spades, or just by losing the king, we can get one more spade trick, but we need two more tricks. So what suit could possibly give us two more tricks? And that suit is hearts. I mean, even if you play on spades, you're still going to have to play on hearts to try and get a ninth trick, right? So might as well just go ahead and play on hearts now. So we're missing the ace and the queen. So what would be the way that you would play the heart suit? You would want to lead from the south hand towards the north hand. And what you're hoping is that the queen of hearts would be on your left. So that your ten of hearts would force the, force the ace or maybe even win. If this person has the ace and queen of hearts, right? Then when you lead the five, if they play low, your 10 will actually win. And if only the queen of hearts is here, when you play the five and play the 10, the queen will win on your right. Excuse me. If the queen is over here, the 10 will push out the ace. Sorry about that, y'all. But what we want is for at least the queen to be here. We want the queen of hearts to be in our left-hand opponent's hand so that when we lead a heart from our hand from south towards the king jack 10, that the 10 will force the ace. Now, if that works, if either the 10 wins or the 10 forces the ace, what are we gonna need to do in order to get two heart tricks? Well, now the king would be a trick, right? If the ace had won. But how do we get another trick? Well, we have to come back to this hand again. And we have to lead another heart towards the king jack. So that if they play the queen, we win the king and our jack is good. Or if they don't play the queen, we play the jack, the jack wins and our king is good. We're going to need to lead towards those heart tricks at least twice. Okay, we want to lead from this hand towards heart at least two times. Now, what happens for people who are new to bridge sometimes is they're in three no trump and they get a club lead and they win. And the first thing they do is they win four diamond tricks. They just can't, they just, you know, it's just wonderful. I want to win four diamond tricks. And they go boom, 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 boom. And they're diamond tricks. They win them. You get to take them. It feels good. You got to, you got those four diamond tricks. 
But guess what? If the diamonds are gone, it's very difficult for you to make sure that you can finesse hearts twice. So here's you kind of a rule. Okay, those diamonds are entries to declarer's hand in order for him to lead hearts a second time. Okay. And when you don't have enough tricks to make your contract, you need to look for other places to create tricks. So what I call this in my classes is you need to create the tricks you need before you take when the tricks you already have. Create the tricks you need before you take the tricks that you already have. Okay. I hope that was good. If it wasn't, send me a note and we'll do another one tomorrow. See you later.